Hello friends, in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to control your home appliances using an Android app aka Home Automation. I am using Wi-Fi and Blink app to control home appliances. So let's get started. For this we need a ESP8266 board which is a CH340 driver based board and I have a Node MCU version 3. Now I place that board in a breadboard. Now you can see this board is not breadboard friendly that is we can use the breadboard pins. Now let's set up and check our circuit. This ESP has a inbuilt LED on D4 pin. Now I am adding another LED on D2. I connected that LED between D2 and 3 volt. Now let's set up our Android app. Open Blink app and click on No Project. Select Node MCUS board and Wi Fi as communication. Please watch my previous video to know more about Blink app and how to set up it. Now click on create, it says an authentication token is sent to our mail. Now click on add and select button, select two buttons for two LEDs, place that buttons according to your ideas and click on plus button. Now give a button name, I am giving fan. Then I selected D2 pin. Then I selected switch mode. You can change color. Do the same for the second button. I am giving light as name. And selected D4. That's all about app. Now let's set up our code, open Arduino IDE and open this sketch on Arduino IDE. You can download this sketch from my blog, link is in the description. Please watch my previous video to know more about how to set up ESP8266 board on Arduino IDE. You can see our code is uploading. took time wait patiently now the code is uploaded now let's power the ESP8266 and open blink you can see when I press the button you can see the light is blinking so it's what now let's connect a relay module I'm using 5 volt relay module it has two channels and I placed that ESP8266 on a puff board. Now let's connect ESP and relay module. First, I soldered two wires for power lines. Then I connected two female headers to the relay module inputs. That's the connections of relay module. In the other end, I connected ground to ground, VCC to 3V. And two inputs to D2 and D4. Now let's power it again and let's check one more time. You can see light is blinking so everything works perfectly. Now open blink up and I checked one more time. Everything works perfectly. You can hear the relay clicking sounds. 
so you can see everything is working so let's move to the building of extension board you can see a two socket extension board here let's connect uh, extension board and the relay module I'm connecting the wires to relay modules output if you don't know how to connect this kind of appliances please ask me or you can download the schematics from my blog if you don't know how to connect please don't connect now we are playing with the 230 volt AC it's so dangerous if you don't know please move away so I placed the circuit on that box Please follow the steps and after finishing the assembly of the extension board I connected a incandescent bulb on light socket and I connected my flashlight on light socket now you can see when I turn on the fan switch you can see incandescent light is well working and light means the my flashlight it's also working so everything works perfectly that's all about today hope you learned something from my video if so please like share and subscribe in the next part i will show you how to build a home automation using google assistant so wait for that i will see you next time thanks for watching